Hello, you guys. What's up? It is me, Larae, and I'm here with Busby talking about my first times. First thing you do when you wake up in the morning, um, which is so crazy is that I literally just woke up, I'm not even getting five minutes ago, and threw on blush and foundation. Um, but the first thing I do is I go straight to the coffee um, shop. I go to this place called Coffee Fix. It's my favorite place right now. They have the best grilled paninis. My coffee order is a hazelnut latte with oat milk, but if I'm feeling crazy, crazy, I'll get a cold brew. Telling my secrets of where I go in the morning is gonna probably suck because now people are gonna go and just honestly, the line's gonna be long as shit and I'm not gonna be able to get my panini. First album you bought, I would say it would have to be Miley Cyrus Bangers. And that's the reason why I created my name and I feel like that was like my whole like era of like becoming a consumer of albums. I used to tweet Miley Cyrus every day. I had to delete some tweets because it was getting a little obsessive, but my name was Larae Cyrus and I took out the Cyrus part because that's obviously not my legal name and I probably would have got sued by now. Um, which is crazy is that she DM'd me because I was supposed to work with her for um, something and I was freaking out that <laughs> I had to have my manager respond because literally I was like, oh my God, I love you. You're a queen, you slay, like per mama girl. Like it was just so bad. And unfortunately due to my schedule it was being so off, I couldn't work with her and then she unfollowed me. But I met her team recently at the Cinderella premiere and they said that like she is so down to work with me. So that's dope. She needs to refollow me. I will literally pay you monthly for a follow. I'll do a down payment too, babe. Let's go. First ever concert you went to. I'm probably gonna get Ada alive for this, but it was this um, emo band back in my like emo days. I went to Bands Warped Tour. Do y'all know what that is? I went to go see Blood on the Dance Floor, paid $300 for a ticket, just saw one band and literally left. First time you ever went viral, basically it was like a skit and um, I made this character called Clitoria. Yeah, it was a dark place, I'm not gonna lie, you know. The video wasn't honestly that funny, I think people were just laughing at me rather with me. So if y'all wanna find that, you totally can. If you don't wanna find that, you're saving so much time in your life that you don't need to waste. First inaccurate rumor you heard about yourself. The only rumor that I can think of is people getting my ethnicity wrong. It's like a huge conversation, I guess, but so many people try to say that I'm so many different things. Like, yeah, like literally, Larae is like Japanese and like Persian. And I'm like, first A-list celebrity that followed you. Can I check? Honestly, I'm gonna go with Miley. I feel like it's on brand. That's the only like person I'm probably freaked out over or I'll consider A-list celebrity in my eyes. My first big purchase was my Porsche and then it broke. <laughs> so I no longer have her. My mom crashed it. <laughs> well, she technically didn't crash it. My mom got hit in my car. Well, she wasn't in the car. Let me clarify because they're probably like, what the um, so I let my mom use my car for a little bit and she was parked and um, someone hit it and it just got totaled from there. A shout out to her, like mom, you did that. First celeb you heard from after your song canceled. Actually, well, one of my friends is friends with Billie Eilish and she said that Billie listened to it and um, she laughed a lot, which I think is so dope because it's Billie Eilish and also Lil Yachty, which is kind of funny. <laughs> he actually reacted to it in my room. Him and his friends came over, which is a little weird because like Lil Yachty <laughs> in my house, no, whatever. Yeah, he reacted to it and he said it wasn't terrible. First big date, when me and um, Brady went to Catalina Island, we took a helicopter and it was like for our two year anniversary. First city, come on English. Two year anniversary, um, it was so cute. I also got the vaccine at the time, so I was dying, but he made sure that I was like having a great time, which is really cute. First kiss. Y'all think I remember that? You know, I just be kissing everybody. I think it resets every year. My recent one, I would say it was on my birthday, July 22nd. First hard lesson you've learned living in the public eye. When I used to like be a stan account, I used to always listen to everything I would hear on the internet. And I'm like, oh my God, like this person's evil. But um, now being and seeing these people for who they are in real life and then seeing the rumors that they, you know, portray them as online, it's like, don't listen to everything you hear, which is so corny and a lot of people say, but it's honestly the truth. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's the most corniest analogy, but it's honestly the truth. First time you talked or slash met Brady. Orlando, we were at a party and I thought he was so fine. I'm not really into like the whole like making the first move thing. Cause you know, a girl got social anxiety. I did make the first move and I said, hi, I'm Larray. And he goes, you're so beautiful and gorgeous. And your ass looks so fat today. And I said, thanks. And now we're dating forever. In Paris, um, I had fans literally, I would say about like 40 of them a day, stay outside of my hotel and then chase my car and then follow where we're going. I would never forget that moment because the amount I felt like I was in like The Walking Dead and having all those kids chase my car. It was such a dope experience and I felt like Kylie Jenner or like Beyonce. Thank you BuzzFeed, you guys were the sweetest. I am Larae and those are my first time. So if you guys enjoyed, if you guys want to try some fire mac and cheese, go to larae'sloadedmac.com. I'll also like stream my song because why not? And yeah, have a nice day. Bye guys.